Welcome back, everybody, to Ask Dallas. I'm here again today with Madison Shire. Welcome, Maddie. Hi, Dallas. How are you? Pretty good. Ready for some questions? You are? Mm hmm. Okay. Are you ready for number one? I am. Are you sure? I'm getting there. I'm okay. Getting there. Well, let's try. Number one, what is the best and worst purchases you've ever made? So what's the best purchase? What's the worst purchase? A $50, actually not, not a $50, 50 piece big nugget from McDonald's. That's the best or the worst? It's somewhere in between. But I want the best and I want the worst. Probably the worst because I couldn't finish them all. Mm. But it's not good for your heart either. I guess. <laughs> but then my best purchase would have to be a big liter of Pepsi and root beer. That's a whole lot of Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Do you drink it all? In one sitting? I don't believe you. Guess you'll have to stay tuned to find out. Okay, well, number two. If you had to change your name, what would your new name be, and why would you choose that name? Stan. Stan? <laughs> Stan? In honor of the great Stan Lee. R.I.P. Stan. So that's why you'd choose it? Mm -hmm. He was the owner of Marvel Comics, and he made all those cameos in the, in the Marvel movies. Okay, I'll respect that. Stan. I'm Stan the man. <laughs> okay. So, what's a body part that you wouldn't mind losing? It's a tough one. Oh boy. Uh, I wouldn't mind losing my... I don't think there is a body part where I, that I... That I would mind, that I wouldn't mind losing. Really? Mm-hmm. You want them all? Yeah. You wouldn't mind like losing an arm or something. I need both my arms. For what? Eating. Breathing. <laughs> you don't need both of your arms to breathe. <laughs> like that. Oh my gosh. Okay. You're crazy. I know. I know. That's why you love me, though. Okay, number four. Now, this is the big question, okay? Okay. Is WWE real? Oh, boy. I, I, gotta, I gotta be very smart about how I say this. Uh, it's, the entries are real that they sometimes suffer, but they go on script so it's kind of real kind of fake sometimes they'll go off script though mm -hmm. so that's real mm -hmm. pipe bomb look up CM Punk's pipe bomb that doesn't sound very good he went off on, on the owner and said this company would be better after he's dead oh that's kind of rude isn't it mm -hmm. yeah sorry punk <laughs> okay who is the messiest person you know that can include you. Other than me, I'd have to say my homies, Alan and Brett. Who's Alan and Brett? They're my uncles. Oh. So they're pretty messy? Yep. You like hanging out with them? They're lunatics. Oh. <laughs> Alan, Alan's the smart one, Brett's the goofy one. Is that, are you goofy like Brett? I, you don't want to be like Brett. Oh. So he's like the crazy uncle? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I see. What's the most useless talent you have? Snorting, snorting out pop. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm able, I'm able to drink, I'm able to drink like soda or something and then the smell will come out my nose. The smell? Like, like, like I'm able to drink it, and then the smell of the soda will come out my nose. Or come in my nose. What? I don't know, Maddie. It, it, just, it just happens. So, like, you drink it, and then what? 
the smell comes in and out of my nose. At the same time? Mm-hmm. So it like goes in one nostril, out the other? Yep. All right, next question. <laughs> Would you rather be able to see 10 minutes into your own future or 10 minutes into the future of anyone but yourself? Both. You have to pick. Dang it. Uh... I'd have to say I'd like to I'd like to see ten minutes into somebody else's future that I know. Why? So you can ruin it. So I know what's gonna happen to that person in the next ten minutes and decide if I'm gonna ruin it. Oh. I guess. What? Yeah. What? Well, let's say if they win the lottery and and you and you happen to steal their ticket. Well, that's rude. Not my book. Just kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Next question. Um, would you rather be famous when you are alive and forgotten when you die, or unknown when you are alive but famous after you die? <sighs> so would That's you rather be famous now when you're alive or when you're dead? I'd rather be famous when I was unknown. Like, like when you die? Mm-hmm. I'm locally known right now, but not like worldwide known. You want to be worldwide known? I don't think I can handle it right now while being alive, but after I'm dead, maybe somebody will dig up will dig up some evidence of how famous I was in high school. Maybe they'll publish it in the future. Oh. So that's what you're hoping? Mm-hmm. So you would rather unknown when you're alive and famous after you die? Yeah. Okay. I could be a famous YouTuber. Maybe. You do have a YouTube channel, right? Mm hmm. Guys, you can subscribe to Dallas's YouTube channel Adventures of Dallas. Um, so, question nine Would you rather be alone for the rest of your life or always be surrounded by annoying people? I'm surrounded by so many annoying people during the day. You're not one of them, j just to let you know. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. I, I, I shouldn't name off of you. No, let's just not name them at all. Okay, what was, what was, what was the other part of the question? Other than, other than Would you rather be alone for the rest of your life or always be surrounded by annoying people? See, I, I, I do want the company and I do want the attention. Okay. But I, but I also want some privacy too when people are getting on my nerves. Mm -hmm. So this is the tough question to answer. Well, you gotta pick one or the other. <sighs> alone for the rest of my life. You would rather be alone. But if I, were, but if I were to choose to be with people, with the annoying people, I'd rather it be with people I love. That's good. I'd rather be alone. Read read a book and read a book in a quiet town. On on are a bed. about me or you? I, either of us. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So last question. Would you rather be completely invisible for one day or be able to fly for one day? I want to be able to fly. Fly? So I can so I can fly across town and and visit the people of the world. What? So I can fly across town and I could also visit people of the world. Oh, okay. I would probably go to like someplace warm for a day. I'd go someplace cold. I like the cold, folks. Can you blame me? When the snow was out, did, he, did you see me complaining? Just, I'm talking to you, Michael Colby. Is Michael not like the cold? Uh, I wouldn't think so. I'm all, also Ethan Wessel. <laughs> Doesn't like the cold. Yeah, uh, one of, there's also a story with one of my buddies that when we were going out to lunch yesterday, he slipped and fell in the ice, Nathaniel Faust. Is he okay? He slipped twice. He's still up and walking. Well, that's good. I'm glad he's okay. Did you slip? <laughs> no, I almost did, though. Well, that's good. Well, I'm glad you're okay. All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. This has been Ask Dallas, and we will be back next week with more questions. Bye, everybody.